Here's what happened at the Belgian Grand Prix. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Track Limits podcast presented by Formula Addict. We are here at Creator Club in Toronto, and you might have noticed that we have something different underneath the table. Look, look. Before we even get into the reflection episode, we want to give a big thank you to Wall Wings from Australia. They shipped us over a custom Track Limits wing. Right, Isn't that beautiful, guys? It looks, it looks really amazing. Cool. The Come detail on. as well. It looks yeah. class. Good quality, good construction. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. So if you guys want to go and get your own custom branded, t- uh, not even Track Limits wing, a general wing yeah. feel free to go and check out the link in our description you can go and check out wall wings they have a bunch of options to choose from and really really good quality in yeah. my opinion and it took about what uh, 30 seconds to set up super yeah. Yeah. super easy so well packaged and it probably took two more more time to take yeah. up back <laughs> it, it was secure a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. it was good so anyway, the Belgium Grand Prix just ended and a uh, lot to go through, a lot to go through. I mean, if I just was to go through 10th to 1st, in 10th, you had Yuki Sonoda, our driver Woo-hoo. of the day, I think. Yeah. Yes. Ninth, we had uh, Lance Stroll, who had one pit stop. We had Ocon. We then had Norris. We had George Russell. And then in fifth, we had Alonso. In fourth, Lewis Hamilton. In third, Charles Leclerc back on the podium. Boom. Sergio Perez in P2, and then a 22-second margin to P1, Max Verstappen, who takes his eighth win off the in a row, sorry, and his 10th win of the season. I'm curious, guys, what do we all think about this race so far? Mikey? Yeah, it was a great race. Um, Max is insane. Like, what was it? It was 22.5 seconds, and he started four positions behind Perez. That was the gap between him and Perez. Here's my question. They're the same car, similar car. Different setups, maybe. How? Like, this, the margin just it doesn't make sense to me. I'm like, how is he pulling such huge, it's such a huge gap? And I'm like, am I watching the same team? Like, well, yeah. He's the best of the there's, best right now. There's I know. one driver who's fully clicked with the car. And I there's a, one that's not taking the same corners that Max would take at that mm. speed because he's not confident with that car, especially after a horrendous well, yeah. four or five races. He's just he's just trying to get a podium. He's just trying to have a clean race. Yeah. You saw it on the sprint. He had a contact. Mm. He DNF'd. So he just wanted to avoid all that chaos yeah. and just want to maximize his points. Mm-hmm. I think that's it. I think it's still the same car as just two different individual drivers who are in tune with that car. Yeah, like so one is point. bringing yeah. out the... The just maximum. the best yeah. yeah i think a mindset though one's trying Pun to survive intended. and the other one's trying to push <laughs> it to the limit yeah. you know yeah. what i mean it's true and i mean obviously unfortunate luck for mclaren very unfortunate for piastri oh. and they also gambled too yeah at the beginning of the race they said they anticipated a lot more rain yeah. they mm. put on a loaded a car anticipating that they will do really well in sector two and maintain it and they got, just got crushed on the straight line speed. Oh yeah. my God. There was a difference of 309 to Alpine and oh, 40 40 yeah. 49. Yeah. Yeah. That but is but ridiculous. Lando starting on mediums and then pitting six, six laps in. Like, I don't think I saw what happened, but like, what the hell was going on there? Like, I don't think he warmed up those tires. And everyone else was doing really well on those softs. Mm. And he was like, if I have any chance to get any points it's me going on those socks immediately but then he held position for what yeah. felt like double the good. amount of time yeah. that you should be able to on the softs so i think the rain helped though yeah yes. it cooled down the track yeah, so much pretty mm-hmm. much yeah, yeah. It, would, it would slow down the, the the wear and tear exactly yeah, yeah. And then Sainz obviously also had to retire. We only had two DNFs, him and Piastri. But unfortunate luck, too, because he started pretty well. You know, yeah. like in yeah, terms of his start. qualifying position, yeah. right? And a yeah. great start coming in, kind of side by side with Lewis, was going to be P4. I mean, I'm just a little bit confused sometimes. And again, I've said this on the pod before. Why is it that Carlos <laughs> Sainz finds himself in trouble almost every turn one? Like mm. a couple of races every single time. It's always him in the middle of the action. Is it? Yeah. I don't know. But this was his first DNF. This was his first No, no, it definitely DNF. was Piastri's yeah. fault. Yeah. I'm not saying it wasn't, but yeah. I'm just saying why is it Carlos Sainz who finds himself in those issues? Yeah. Well, he's, t- he's looking for the gap. Yeah. Like, you're not looking for the gap. Are you, Are you racing? racing? Yeah. Fair enough. I mean, Piastri was looking for the gap. <laughs> exactly. yeah. 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 Sorry, defending yeah. the gap. Don't yeah. 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 forget, Lewis braked early. Signs locked up. Yeah. Yes, he did. And then Signs turned in straight yeah. away. Piastri was already looking for that spot. Mm. Um, yeah, you kind of could say maybe Piastri shouldn't have been that tight to the wall because he knew there was nowhere to go. Yeah. And yeah. it just wrecked his race and Signs' race. And Piastri, his confidence would have been booming from the sprint race. Like he came P2. Yeah. So it's a pity not to see what he could have done. 
Because yeah. he's, he's maxing, La- he, like, he's the same as Lando in pushing that car. Yep. So it'll be interesting to see. I think we all inevitably thought, I think, Max would overtake and get P1. I remember even before the race started, we were all predicting what yeah. lap it was going to be on. It was lap 17. Yeah. So okay. I think everyone here was kind of wrong, yeah. but... We really felt like it could have been lap seven, six, yeah. eight, and Easy. we wouldn't have been surprised by that, yeah. really. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he got to P3 by yeah. lap six. Yeah. Or, yeah, I think it was six or seven. Yeah. So that's already half... His engineer is probably telling Max, go easy in the tires. Just like, just take your time going off yeah. through those positions. It's like, you're going to get there. <laughs> yeah, just, there's exactly. no rush. Yeah. Just, just don't crash. Uh, yeah. That's what I was saying at the beginning. I was like, I feel like it's not even just him crashing. The fact he started in P6 and he was on the... He would have been on the outside line mm. mm-hmm. trying to come in. Someone could have been bold and take that inside line on him. And then, you know, Max, he's not going to give up that space. No. It could have ended roughly for him, but he didn't. And luckily, he won the race. And then, Henny, what was your best moment from the race? Best moment? It would probably be... Uh, was it Albon and Gasly? Gasly? That that Sector 2 fight that they Turn had? Turn 14. Turn yeah. 14 yeah. was... Oh, that was beautiful to watch. And both of them didn't let go... They were still on it, full throttle. Whoever had that little gap, they took it, and it was it was Gasly who took it. Yep. Yeah, on Gasly, album. yeah, yeah. Very respectful racing. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Like yeah. Each overall, one giving each other space. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just beautiful to watch. Fevin, no, your, the, your I was best just moment. Gasly, it was really yeah. good weekend for him. Yeah, both yeah. in the sprint and this mm-hmm. one. Um, I loved Yuki's drive today. Mm. I mean, he was kind of uh, going back and forth between P at the beginning it was around P eight or P seven, then P ten. But I just think. Um, he drove like he had the drive of his life, mm-hmm. and yeah, that was uh, watching him. I was watching him the most most of the race. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that was my favorite. Mm. Yeah, I don't want to say the same, but literally, I had written down that note. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, but even just in, a, in in an overall, like it's great to see Leclerc back. That's great for his confidence. The team did well in the pit stops. There was no like crazy strategies where they're trying to reinvent the rulebook. <laughs> so it was good. Yeah. Um, no, yeah, overall, it was a very enjoyable race. Like, the bo- like it might have been a little bit boring for the top three because Leclerc wasn't gaining Perez, Perez wasn't gaining on, on Max. Max, and Hamilton was really conserving his tires, but the mid-pack, Yuki fighting Albon, Albon p- fighting Gasly, Ocken trying to get in the mix, ah. Alonso was stuck in there. Yep. Like, the mid-pack was, it was all changing. And it's, it's very surprising because Afatari has the worst car on the grid. Yeah. And he was able to stay within the DRS and yep. not even let a lot of these faster cars overtake him near the end when yeah. his degradation came in but he was there he was fighting which was that's the drs that was helping him like yeah, yeah, being like, <laughs> you know, you're keeping that drs you're good yeah definitely what happened, brilliant what happened to danny rick not a good race no yeah. Yeah. but different setup it was because no? of qualifying he, oh, he started so yes, low on the grid yeah. that yeah. with yeah. that car he has yes, 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 it's yes. quite hard did he start p19 yeah, oh. yeah. yeah. he yeah. still gained positions which is great. yeah i think he finished p17 or 16 i think it was 17 17 16 16? 16, there you go. Okay. Three places. That's not hey. bad. Yep. Hey. That's not yeah. bad. Yeah. Improvements. <laughs> <laughs> it's his second. It's his, yeah. like, talk, talk about it. It's his yeah. second race back. Yeah. yeah. But so it's like, also a statement for Yuki. He's like, oh, yeah. don't forget about me. I'm yeah. on this team and I can still race. Yuki can have an off day now and he knows yep. that someone's breathing down his breathing down his neck. Because he was comfortable with um, De Vries. Like, he was mm. always out qualifying. He was out winning. Yeah. Yep. But I think that's why I was especially <laughs> impressed by his performance today. I don't think... Because sometimes Yuki can let the pressure get to him or you've seen him kind of get mm. uh, frantic or frazzled. I just, the focus and just making sure that he was in the points, like I just felt like I was watching him like really focus. And if he continues this, he can actually really mm. uh, be the, continue to be the number one driver yep. for that team. My best moment was uh, definitely Albon and Gasly, but there was one at the very end as well, Lewis Hamilton getting fastest ah, lap. Yeah. Yeah. It was very nice to see. I remember we were all clapping, which is great. Yeah. But We were cheering. It's like, yeah. it was a championship it was win. Sad they didn't even show it on camera. We were like looking at the times. We were like, oh, yeah. three yeah. seconds off. Yeah. Oh, he's getting yeah. it. Yeah. it we we didn't end. know someone's going for a fast lap. They should have a small little screen in yes. the bottom mm. right with just a little sector one, sector two. Because yeah. you know everyone knows like he's trying to go for fast lap. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, but um, it was nice to see that. Um, in terms of the worst moment or most surprising moment, let's say that, most surprising moment, I want to lead this off. I think it's very much what you said, Fevin, around the Paris Verstappen yeah. fight that just didn't happen. Yeah. And I'll tell you why. I wake up on a Sunday morning, and the reason I wake up early <laughs> for F1, not only to be with you wonderful people, 
But it's because when Verstappen's starting P6, I know he's going to win. Mm-hmm. But I'm curious to see the battles that he has to have when he goes past Hamilton, yeah. mm-hmm. Leclerc. And then I'm hoping his biggest challenge is going to be Paris. I'm hoping mm-hmm. that battle will at least last one, two, three laps, right? Mm-hmm. Paris gets DRS back. Maybe it's a bit of a back and forth. There was no battle at all. No. It was like, literally, he came down that long straight after Radion and said, bye. Yep. And then gained the lead enough to be able to get out of DRS even. Like, yeah. that was a bit disappointing on my end. After yeah. he overtook, like, yeah. it's, I don't know what turn it was. It was halfway through the track. He pulled a second on the I ladder know. half. Yeah. Like, how? That's yeah. what my, goes back to my very opening question of, what is happening? <laughs> How? <Hey>, explain. <laughs> so, yeah, I did. I'm like, I, did I just want to get. I, 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 yeah, I always say this. It would be amazing to see if, like, you had the same car, like, say, like a yeah. livery of like all Red Bull uh, cars, and see what oh, yeah. the drivers. Well, could I mean, do. Logan Sargent yeah. beat P1. No, I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. He wanted DNF. Yeah. <laughs> He'd be like, "This is too fast." Like, yeah. yeah. I've never done this before. Eddie, your your most surprising moment. I'm curious. Surprising moment would have been not even in the race, but like we said earlier, McLaren's gamble. You 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 claimed you fixed your top line speed, and you were already good on the short corners or um, sh- and and long speeding corners. So why would you fully load this car, knowing you already have? a good package, why don't you just do the same thing as uh, all the other top teams? They went with the, other than Red Bull, because they their DRS is ridiculous. All, uh, uh, Lewis, all the other ones decided to put on their less loaded car, and that's why they maximized today, which they didn't, and they gambled. And you were saying, Henny, the reason they were doing that is because they were predicting more rain. Yeah. Exactly, yeah, yeah. So even if that rain was coming, if you already had a decent package, just follow the other teams. They... They did the exact same thing and they maximized today, which McLaren didn't. I have P7 for yep. Lando. Lando. All right, so. Still, still, though, like, it wouldn't have been bad for McLaren because, like, if Piastri didn't DNF, you know he'd have been right there. That's still great points for the yeah. team if. I know there's a lot of, like, ifs, but, like. He would have got in alive, same as Lando did. But Lando yeah. was still P7. That's not bad. Yeah. Yeah, and but after was, two yeah. podium hmm. weekends? Yeah, it's Look, as long as you feel like okay. a step in the wrong direction now. As long as you're in the points. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. It was also yeah. a good yeah. recovery drive from what wasn't the best start for oh, him. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, 100%. And you could yeah. hear Lando when he was on the radio with the engineer. He, <laughs> he was very like, I can't hear what you're saying. Like, he was very like, uh, you could tell he was annoyed. Yeah, yeah, yeah I agree. Seven? Um, it was actually the the communication that we were able to hear between uh, Max and uh, GP. I, it was just surprising the, the, just the way they were talking to each other, yeah. I f- there was a, it seemed tense mm. and old married uh, couple. Cheeky. Mm. <laughs> yeah, mm. like an old married couple. I think they all need a summer break, and yeah. I'm really glad. Especially <laughs> GP man. GP, yeah, GP, yeah, GP, like, GP, GP probably break. wants this break more <laughs> than anyone, and uh, probably deserves it. Um, but no, yeah, it, both uh, during the qualifying um, and just the main race, I just feel like the radio uh, messages that we were getting, both between Max and GP, were entertaining hmm. but also tense yeah. yeah so that was surprising yeah. mikey um nothing really different than what you guys are saying i'd say i'm a bit surprised by russell and he's qualifying hmm. if he can fix his qualifying he climbs so fast during a race like he can overtake i want to even say sometimes better than lewis like sometimes if lewis starts p10 this season particularly he's not able to fight as well russell for some reason always fights through the pack yeah. he's always up there um, but the only other thing I was really disappointed was Piastri. Like, I really wanted to see him do well, or at least fight. We know he can fight. Um, but yeah, all in all, great race. Like, everyone pit stops went well. It wasn't too crazy or dramatic, so. Yeah, no yellow. Oh, I lied. There was like. Yeah, yeah. many, yeah. Yeah. I think the only the one. virtual. Su- like they were yeah, like- it was when Piastri pulled outside the track. Yeah. That was really it. And then outside of the race, I'm curious what caught our eye. I, I have one thing I wanted to quickly talk about. I saw this today, and I, I was like, I need to mention this. The Alpine, obviously, there's a chaos going yeah. on oh, among mm. management, right? And yeah. they're losing their sporting director. They're losing their head team boss, uh, Otmar. Otmar mm-hmm. yeah. And Otmar went ahead and made a statement. And I want to read. I'm paraphrasing a little. He says, changes take time. We hired a lot of good people for 2024 and 2025. And then, actually, this is a direct quote now. You can't get nine women pregnant and expect to have a baby in a month. 
What? Wait, what does that even? What wait, does that mean? Wait, wait, wait repeat. You My guy, what did get, you say? You can't get nine women pregnant and expect to have a baby in a month. I think he's trying to say like you need to be patient. Yeah, patient. They basically <laughs> hired nine new people. Is what he's trying to say. What you can't an expect analogy, wins after though. Them. Wow. In I this mean, era, that's a yeah. bold statement. He's like, I'm on the way out. I'm going to cause as much drama on my way out. I mean, I saw some memes that were like, without my permission, the Alpine team yeah. have, have said that I'm, oh, yeah, I've seen no those longer. ones. Basically, like, uh, so wait, you know, yeah. Piastri's last year Twitter. Hmm. So, wait a second. Otmar is done after this weekend? Yeah. yeah. Brutal. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a big shakeup. And it, it, it's interesting because this whole philosophy is. Uh, 100 race plan that they had starting mm. from last year. He's like, by 2026, we are going to be in the top. So for someone to claim that last year and help with the shakeup just to let go. But I, I wonder who's doing this. Like Rossi yeah. also left the CEO. Yeah. Like there's a They've lot lost of their shakeup. CTO. They're, I mean, a lot of their exec and yeah. like essentially like yeah. the, t the uh, departmental leaders yeah. have shifted. So this could be a good thing. Yeah. I mean, like change is good uh for different perspective but i'm also like there there could also be a period of like just lack of direction mm -hmm. and sucks for gasoline yeah. <laughs> it's the new sponsorship money coming in ryan reynolds is calling up and like guys you, you, you gotta change this team <laughs> up like, I'm I'm bring bring yeah. the people now. oh my god i completely forgot that <laughs> yeah they yeah. they secured like 24 million I in um, investment from that. a private funding so yeah. like yeah. that makes sense there's probably yeah they're probably coming in and uh, full, full cleaning house because yeah. yeah. to be fair if you were to clean house and be prepared for 2024 now would be kind of the time to do it mm. really mid mid, I, mid bro, I don't where, know. where are they going agree. where are they going they can't get any worse they're already like so far down it yeah, can only get like, better they're still competing against yeah. McLaren though right yeah. I thought they are still mm. fighting yeah. where, I'd love to know the point difference right there I'll now. tell you yeah to be honest if they didn't have those multiple DNFs yeah they Hungry, would, they would still them. be competing yeah. And and the second like Hungary was unfortunate. Yeah, that it wasn't was not even, on not their fault. fault. No, it wasn't <laughs> their fault. <laughs> like who caused that? By the way, Joe. Remember Joe? He, he like Ricardo. He punted Ricardo. Yeah. Ricardo yeah. punted uh, Gasly. Yeah, and then Gasly hit Gasly, Ocon. Yeah, yeah. Or, or the, the other chances, way around. Yeah. yeah, Ocon flew. Ocon. Yeah, yeah. 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 one of them flew, but. One of them flew. <laughs> <laughs> While Seven is pulling that yeah. up, yes. another quick thing as well. I mean, and I think we actually have a video coming out about this soon. Equal engines, tire blankets, 11th F1 team, increasing mm -hmm. the budget cap. All of these were items that were discussed in the FIA meeting. Um, I don't want to talk too much about it now because I know we can talk about it in a week or two. Yep. But we do have a video, guys, coming out about it in terms of what was discussed and the outcome of that as well. Seven, able to pull it up? Uh, give me a second. <sighs> I didn't realize I... I was on uh, airplane mode and oh. needed Wi Fi. <laughs> <laughs> but I will get it for you. So, what are we? It's for constructors. 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 Okay. So, teams, I will tell you. Alpine is sixth. And? Uh, McLaren. Behind McLaren by like almost half. So, McLaren is 103 points. Uh -huh. I'm not sure if this is updated after this weekend, but regardless. And Alpine is 57 points. So, so I mean, uh, they, uh, but they are ahead, distance, yeah. very much ahead from. Of yeah. Williams and Haas, who are tied with 11 points each. I still think it makes sense to do it. Like, you're not like, okay, what? You're going to win one more position, whatever, versus no. getting a new team in and training them up. And then you have, like, this, the rest of the season to really figure it out, the kinks, mm -hmm. uh, and then, like, really plan ahead. I think it's a great time to do yeah. it. Yeah. Well, isn't there rumors, um, Manado? Is that my saying his name right? Benado. Benado? Benado. 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 That's the guy? Yeah. He's going to come back in? He's, uh, he's on top of the, the list, right? The list. Yeah. 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 You know, as a recruiter in my day life, I would love to. Be. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to source there. I would love to see you do F1 recruiting. I yeah. mean, that would be insane, but I would totally love it. You're just like Henok Yeshenu. <laughs> be the the You'd be dropping bombs every. So I got some insider information. <laughs> Absolutely not. Yeah. I take my job seriously. Okay. <laughs> and then looking forward, guys, we have a mid-season break now. We have the next race coming up in about four weeks. But the Dutch Grand Prix. What are we looking forward to, Henny? I want to throw it over to you. It's Max's home race. Tell us. Uh, I want Max to continue that record and break it yeah. with Vettel. So one more race, and then it would Tied. probably be Monza. He, he'll, yeah. he'll have to do in Monza, Ooh, but great track. keep up that streak. And check out, just get another podium. Just, yep. just that's it. Just get your confidence up. Mm. Hopefully, so that next next year, twenty twenty four, it was clean slate. You and Max can go at it with full full confidence. Would you say he, you would want him to maximize? Mm. Oh. Maximize. <laughs> I hate myself. Um, I was actually going to say this is a home race for Nick DeVries as well. And then I'm oh. like, oh. He might be there. Yeah, he might be there. That's true. They're friends. Trauma. Ma I, think that's I trauma. don't know. Max and him are friends. Yeah. They're tight. No, they're good friends. Um, question? Dutch Grand Prix. 
What are you looking forward to? Oh, I want to see. I want to keep seeing Ferrari mm-hmm. in in on podium. Yep. So Leclerc mainly, but also signs. I I feel like a broken record, mm-hmm. but yeah, that's mm-hmm. basically my hopes. And then Mikey, we've driven this track very windy, lots of corners. Yeah. What but do you think? Driven it? Oh, sorry. Uh, driven sim. in the simulator. Oh, sorry. 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 Like, sorry. Like, what? Sorry. Yeah. yeah, last week. Last, last week. week. Yeah. yeah. Just there. <laughs> Putting hot laps. So what, what do you think? Um, because it reminds me a lot like of, of Hungary. Yeah. Um, so I think McLaren again will do well. Austin Martin maybe will do well. But let's not forget we're at the stage of the season now where people are going to be changing their power units, their gearbox. Mm. A lot of penalties are going to come into play. That's again to go back to today. I couldn't understand. Science of damage on lap one. And they just kept them out there for 27 laps. You're just putting more wear and tear on the engine. You were doing nothing. You were back of the pack. Like retire the care and not wear the components. Um, so mid that track, it could be interesting to see who brings some upgrades and especially mm. the penalties that start coming into play for like the amount of components being used. Sorry, I have to add, I would love to see Alonso back. Mm. I mean, I feel like he's, they uh, really, Aston Martin have taken a backseat over the last four or five. Yeah. 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 And so, yeah, hopefully they come up with some upgrades yep. that yeah. will get them back on podium. They did. The mic crack came out and said they took the wrong direction yeah. with the what they were doing in the tunnel and they found the fix and now they're rebuilding right. again. So they still got double them. points today, which is good. Stroll yeah. yeah. amazingly today. Yeah. Yep. So did Alonso. Yep. True. Yeah, no, they're right there. Yeah. To wrap up guys, where we're at with the constructors, Red Bull now has crossed mm-hmm. the 500 point mark. Yay. Whoop, whoop. Uh, basic, summer break? Yeah. Bitter, well, bitter, no. bitter <laughs> people here. You bitter. Well done. Well no, done. I mean, it's amazing. Yeah. It's insane. You, you should, sorry to interrupt you. You should have said Max has given yeah. red. <laughs> <laughs> well, has given Max it. has now crossed 300 points, wow. which is pretty crazy. Um, again, wow. like Henny said, he could beat Vettel's nine wins in a row record in Mondla, which is going to be very cool to watch if that happens. Yep. But guys, I hope you enjoy this episode. Candidly, maybe this episode is more entertaining than the race. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I, yeah. Not every race can be nail biting. Yeah. Like, but every race reflection can. can. Oh. Yes. <laughs> can we just end it here? No, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Feel free to like, subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next episode.